Well, let me introduce myself. I'm Kevin Dorval, mentor, author, inspirational speaker. Some people call me King. And when I was in high school, they called me uh, the Haitian Diddy. You know, when we played football every Friday, we had to dress up sharp, so I was always on point with that. You know, I always had a thing for clothes, not really big on fashion. I just, you know, I just got swag like that. Any of you guys got swag in here? What? I know y'all swagged up. <laughs> Turned all the way up. You guys are all basketball players, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about fashion, how to properly dress. So who, who, who the best dressed in here? I real talk, who the best dressed, like for real? Yeah, I would. Right. <laughs> <laughs> him. All right, and you guys said ninth, 10th, 11th graders? Yeah. yeah. Okay, JV basketball team. When, when, when does the season start? November. 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 But let me tell you something. Whenever you, you are about to go to an interview, I know you guys are in high school right now, so you're not really thinking about that. But when you're going to court, you got a court case. Hopefully, you guys never have to go to court. I had to go to court plenty of times. I used to get in trouble all the time. But it's one thing my mom taught me before she passed away was that when you go to court or important places, dress sharp because people look at you. You know, they that means a lot. You know, your dress code says a thousand words without you even saying one thing. I used to have dreads, so when I had my dreads, people were already judging me. So I cut my dreads off. I understood that my appearance meant a lot. You know how you carry yourself. You know, you walk with your shoulders up. You know, you get, got, got your belt up. I know none of you guys hang around with your, your pants hanging. This is one thing I never understood. Why I gotta, why I gotta do that, man? Do you guys know, understand what that means, though? Yeah, yeah. some don't go to jail. Uh, yeah. Your pants be loose. So I heard they, 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 they take like, away the belt. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, say it again what you said. When your pants were loose in jail, what was that? Uh, like, if you ain't had no belt or nothing, so whatever you got, what you got, like, it'll be sagging or whatever. And then, like, yeah, something like that, that's how you get your feeling. That's, I, I guess so, but I'm going to tell you the, the real reason. Who else wants to take a guess at that? Go ahead. Yeah, that mean in like the 70s that you was available. Sure. Exactly. That's a sign that you're homosexual. Oh. So when you go to prison, <laughs> that's what the faggots were doing. Pardon my French, but that's what the gay people were, were doing. They hang their pants down to show that you're available for sex. I know you know you guys are gay, and if you are, forgive me. However... <laughs> I'm not gay. I never walk around with my pants hanging down like that. You got, you know, you got some guys with their pants hanging down with doodle stains, man. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. And then a, a respectable female, let's talk about the females now. A respectable female, she's not going to want to talk to you. I used to be very nervous when I used to talk to girls, man. But then when I understood that my dress code and the way I, I, you know, I presented myself, it meant a whole lot. So before she even can see what my talking game was, she wouldn't see how my dress code was. And in my high school, I went to Deerfield. I graduated in 1999. I'm 33 years old right now. Do I look 33? No, I thought you were younger. <laughs> People tell me look I don't. Younger. Look younger? All right, awesome. But yeah, that's, that's what we used to do. You know, dress code was a very big thing in my high school. I never wanted to dress the best dress code. I never really cared about that, but I cared about the way I looked, the way I had my hair, my afro. I used to have a big afro. I could have had dreads when I was in high school, but I didn't. I used to have like an afro sticking out the hair, man. Pick in the hair and everything. And then eventually, you know, I, I dread it up. But it's vitally important that you, you know, carry yourself a certain weight. And then you got cologne. You guys wear cologne? Yeah. What kind of cologne do you guys wear? You, you give me a couple. Curve. Polo. Curve? I got curve on right now. Curve is uh, like a... Polo Nautica. Polo Nautica? That's a good one. Usher. Usher got a good one. What's, what's the name of the Usher one? Usher had a real good one. It's called Usher. Yeah, it's just Usher. And there's one that's old. I got Usher. Oh my God. <laughs> it's called Usher? Yeah, it's called Usher. I had, I had a bottle, I believe it was from Usher, man. Real good smell of cologne. Yeah, a fancy bottle. I forgot how the bottle looks, but I had one. I had it for a birthday gift. Black bottle. Black bottle. I don't remember. I know it's expensive. Oh, yeah. Very. So put on a cologne. I have some friends of mine, they wear two or three colognes. I, I don't know why they do it, but they put on three, four colognes just so they can, I don't know, increase, you know, how they smell. But the thing is to take, you know, take a little time, you know, the details, your socks. There's one thing in your shoes. One thing my auntie taught me was that whatever shoes you wear, your belt should match it, especially when, you, when you're dressed up. Anybody got matching uh, belts and, and shoes? Oh, he do. Well, he got matching socks. 
They glad to see him with belts. You gotta wear belts. Yeah, we were speaking about belts earlier. You gotta, you gotta wear belts. Take your time, and you know you gotta look very sharp right now. Dress shirts. You got the ties and the, and the tie game. I have a very nice tie. I love my ties. This is actually my favorite tie. It's a Donald Trump tie. My good luck tie. So I want to make sure that I wore my best because I care about the way I look. And there was a point in time where life was kind of unstable for me. Therefore, I used to dress my best everywhere I went. Not necessarily dress clothes, but let's say if I was wearing like, you know, baggy jeans and shirts and Jordans and Nikes or whatever you have, I used to wear the best I had because I didn't know when it was gonna be my last day on earth. So it was very important that I wore my best because if, if something was to happen to me, I wanted to make sure I was looking good. As ridiculous as that may sound, but if, if you got good clothes in your closet, why not wear it? You understand what I'm saying? So I definitely want you guys to take your time when you got an interview. Anybody here looking for a job? How old are you? 15. 15? I like that. 15 years old. When I was 15 years old, I had my first job. We used to work like crazy hours. What kind of job are you looking for? 16. So you're a grind. He's 15 years old. I'm looking for a job. Start early looking for a job. So we're going to interview. You don't have a tie on right now, but wear a tie. Trust me, it's, it's going to speak volumes. Wear a tie. You look pretty good. Are you, are you missing this uh, um, a tie? Socks. I put on the black socks. I want to wear. I want to do the white socks. I want, I want to do that. But yeah, to do that, you got a resume. Get a resume together. You may have never had a job before, but you can you know put down what you do in school, which is basketball. You ever volunteered anywhere? Start volunteering. It's very, you know, it's also good to volunteer in the community. Giving back. And you, why you don't have a tie on? I couldn't find one, actually. Couldn't find one? No. You didn't find one or you didn't have one? I didn't have one. Uh, All right. There's no ties in the house? Nah, all of them are bigger than you. So like, they're, they're, they're bigger like, than you? Like, they're old, like, <laughs> how can I say? <laughs> like, um, bigger tie. It's cool. <laughs> like, it's cool. There's, I guess I say that's for older people. For older people? Yes. All right. Well, I mean, that's, that's not a big deal, you know. You have your um, gender, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Wear a tie. When you're going on a date, wear your best. What do you guys wear when you go on dates? Nike fit. <laughs> Nike Polo. fit? Polo. Polo. You wear your best, right? Yes. Now, let me give you guys a tip. I, I know this isn't the subject. Today is about dressing up, you know, how you dress. But when you go on a date, be sure you got everything ironed out. I even iron my boxes when I go on dates, man. And my socks. I ain't never do the socks yet. But this is what you do. When you go on a date, first of all, be respectful. Be respectful. And what I used to do is get flowers, even in high school. And the reason why I did that, I know no one does that today. I don't care how old you are. Well, maybe if you're this, this gentleman's age. But to get a flower, even one simple flower, I don't have to be a rose. A rose probably costs you like, what, $325, $450. Believe me, you're going you're gonna to take a heart when you do that. Open up the doors. When you see a young lady walking towards the door, beat her to the door and open it for her. Little gestures like that. When you're about to sit down, if you're at a dinner, you know, you guys are probably only, what, 15 to 17 right now? Anybody younger than that, older than that? How old are you? 14. 14, that's what's up, 14? All right, that's cool. So, when you're going on a date, be sure you do those things, and, and when you sit down on the table, pull out the chair. Does that seem like it's too much to do? Little gestures. You wanna get with her, right? You, you wanna have a good relationship, right? I know you guys not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> but carry yourself like kings. Whenever I, I speak to my, my nephews, my nieces, well, my nieces, I call them queens, but my nephews or my cousins or brothers, friends, I call them kings. And I say that because I myself a king, so therefore I treat them as royalty. And I do that because that's the kind of respect that I want. So when you carry yourself as a king, not saying that you have to you know, rule the world and everyone has to bow down to you, but it's just a matter of confidence. And when you dress nice, dress appropriately, it gives you a lot of confidence. Trust me, it does. When I was 15 and I had my first job, as I mentioned earlier, we used to work like, in the summer, 
like 10, 12 hours a day. I know now it's probably a little tough for you know teenagers to find a job, but back when, when I was um, working, which was in the 90s, if you wanted a job, it's easy to find a job. You can find one just like that. But that allowed me to put money in my wardrobe. You see that? Work hard. Go ahead. Where were you working at? Good question. I was working at a place called Sunglum. I talk about it in my book. It was a um, it was a white owner. His name was Michael Finn. Very cool dude. A little over the top sometimes. But what it was a uh, it was a holistic uh, how you call it holistic medicine when you take like vitamins and different herbs and spices. He got spices from all over the world and he'll, he'll, he'll make different ingredients to cure you of different elements. Like say you had a, a, a sore throat. There's a liquid he had, you put on a Q-tip and put on your tonsil and your, and your sore throat would disappear. Like, and I obviously always use it. Or you know, things like that. And what I used to do is, I'm sure there's no bottles in here. Perfect. What I used to do is, I used to, first I started with the pills, making the pills. You put the powder in the pills, you put the capsule on, it's like a tray, like a tray like this. People put the, uh, the powder on the tray, you shake it up, and then, then you have to one by one or two by two put the, um, the plastic caps on, on the pills and then you put them in a bottle. Well first you put them in a, a towel, shake it up. Wow, that's memory lane, I can't believe I remember that. 